Do you like helping others? Are you able to make good decisions under pressure? Can you look at a situation and figure out how to improve it? If this is you, you might have what it takes to write yourself a prescription to be a nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioners are registered nurses with advanced training in clinical practice. As primary care providers, they can diagnose and manage disease and illness, perform certain medical procedures, prescribe medications, order diagnostic tests, and refer patients to specialists. Nurse practitioners can work independently or with other healthcare providers. To nurture our curiosity about this healing profession, we spoke to a nurse practitioner in Alberta. Hi, my name is Anne. I'm a nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner is someone who has worked as a nurse before and then obtains extra training and extra skills in diagnosing and treatment of illness, prescribing medications, and then that person can work at that advanced level of nursing almost anywhere in the healthcare system. I wonder if that's a little bit there. We have to make sure we freeze both of those parts. There are a lot of different places where nurse practitioners can work, in a hospital emergency room or in a community setting like myself here at the Seniors Association, or people work for home care and are primarily working in people's homes, or even in places like the Remand Center or other federal institutions. Another excellent opportunity for nurse practitioners is working out of the major centers. Nurse practitioners originally started to serve some of these remote and outlying communities, and that's still an option for nurse practitioners today. But probably the best thing to do is to see you again next week, and we'll do it again. In addition to the basic procedural things, for example, if someone needs a skin biopsy done, I can do that in my office. Or if they knock their head and cut their head open, I can stitch it shut. We also work very closely with other people in the healthcare team, like dietitians or physiotherapists, working through things and looking for the best solution for a client. Oh, right. Right. Regular visits. Right. There are quite a few standard tools for the medical trade that nurse practitioners also use, but we do travel to see people. So we use technology uh, to take our charts with us. All of our records are on a computer. And so I have a laptop I take with me. We sent it to the one ENT and the, and the ENT. Here at SAGE, our usual clinic hours are between 8.30 and 4 during the week. But if you work as a nurse practitioner in a hospital, you might do shift work days or evenings or sometimes even nights, depending on where you're working. So tell me, what's, how's your cochlear implant working? Is it working well? So for myself, my role is with seniors, so I see all older adults. But my job is to do their preventive health care, make sure they have their vaccines, treat their chronic illnesses, and also work on helping them be the healthiest person they can be. So this is the prescription. Okay. It's for the same thing you have now. A typical day is arriving here at the Seniors Association. I have patients that are scheduled to see me through the day and sometimes I'm doing presentations or interacting with other members of our health and human services team. So that leaves us with two days a week to play with. But we it's a highly team-based decision-making environment. And as a nurse practitioner in an advanced role, you might be responsible for leading a team in a hospital or leading a team like I do here at a clinic. I have done it, uh, but I don't Nurse need practitioners to... need to be a good listener. Lots of things come at us every day, so what's very important is being flexible and willing to work with others. When the heart is resting and filling with blood, I need to speak clearly and write clearly and communicate what needs to happen in a way that others understand. Nurse practitioners do have advanced training in order to do their job. We start with a nursing degree, and then after that you need to have 4,500 hours of practice before you can proceed to do your nurse practitioner master's degree. And then once we do our programming, we have to do a licensing exam. Did you use your alert button or something? I'm very lucky on my career path that I'm in the position I'm in now, a position of leadership of this clinic. If I'm able to teach and still keep my fingers on clinical work and do administrative work. So for me, it's all of the good parts come together. And that's one of the great things about being a nurse practitioner. Because I did send a prescription in yesterday. I find practice as a nurse practitioner very satisfying, especially with clients who have never had someone take the time to listen to them and help sort out their problems. And they come back and report to me how good they're feeling. That makes me feel like I've actually made a difference. Okay, I will see you in a few weeks. Okay. I would say to people who are interested in 
taking on the role of a nurse practitioner. If you try nursing and you really love it, but you want to do more, then this is the profession for you. Successful nurse practitioners have excellent problem-solving and critical thinking skills and an enthusiastic, nurturing approach to their work. They may be demanding, but with the right training and mental outlook, it's a fulfilling career. Learn more about this occupation, including educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And find out about related occupations like family physician and infection control professional. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.